Good day, everybody. Mike Flores here, local Las Cruces realtor and new home expert. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we are in a community called Talavera on a street called Mystic Winds. I have an absolute amazing home to show you. 6,855 square feet in just the main heated area, 1,073 square feet in the floating grand mezzanine, and just under 2,200 square feet in this garage, which is a three-car garage and an RV garage, sits on over 1.1 acres. This home is currently listed for 2.9 million and it is absolutely amazing. Take a look at this gem. So the, starting with the outside, this industrial contemporary modern masterpiece features a really, really nice amount of land. If you look around, you can actually see the marble rock, rock walls and you have metal slot accented walls in between it, which is absolutely amazing. It took over an acre of marble just to build these rock walls. Talk about amazing. And then you have several variations of different gravels. You have crusher fine, smaller fine gravel here. You've got larger river stones. And then this, this really, really beautiful driveway. I mean, this is just where you walk up and you have like this faux grass in between that gives it that really pretty, almost like steps. And then you have your driveways going up to your three-car garage, into the garage. You can see the garage doors have glass. The entry, I mean, you're talking about like 20 feet of glass there. Talk about a lot of natural light in this home. It, it just displays so well. The outside, you have metal fascia, you have tongue and groove underlay, LED lights everywhere, all undermounted. Lots of stacked stone over there by the RV garage and also at the front entrance. And I mean, even the coach lights, look at how beautiful these lights are. And you don't see this often, folks. This is a very, this is a one of a kind property, but these are actually lights and they have them all the way around this entire home. This home features so many beautiful things. You have outdoor kitchen, indoor kitchen, built-in California redwood table, which is stunning. This home took 70 tons of structural steel to build this and they left a lot of it to where you can actually see it as part of the interior flavor of this home. And uh, God, I'm so excited about this property. This is, this is an absolute amazing home. Before we go inside, I'd like to to thank Levi Nolasco for having us over to tour this amazing home today. Thank you so much, Levi. Um, the builder, thank you very much. His name is Art. Um, phenomenal job. This home came out better than I even expected. And as I'm talking to you, I'm captivated by the valley and the mountains just in the front. Now this home has 360 views. You have every single mountain range around this home. You got the Oregon Mountains, the Robledos, Picacho Peaks, you got the, the A Mountain, you've got the all the whole mountain range of the Oregons. And I mean, it's like every single part of this home carries its own experience. Absolutely amazing. Now, the front presentation, as you can see, Look at the size of that door. Now, usually you see eight foot doors, nine foot doors. This is like a 10 foot door and it does have a special locking mechanism. So whenever you actually push on this, it'll actually open. And the home is ultra smart. Every single bedroom has its own control to where you walk into a bedroom literally and it actually adjusts the temperature and how you feel in that bedroom. It, amazing, and you can control everything from a tablet. Has 360 security. So, I mean, you could literally, every part of this home is super secure. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as we go in, we're going to start looking at all the bedrooms. Then we're going to go into the living room, the kitchen, go all over it, go through this home very, very detailed. And uh, I can't wait to get started. Let's take a look. Wow. This is amazing. Right when you walk in, 
you have ceilings that have got to be higher than 20 feet. You've got drop chandeliers, lots of structural metal. You got wood tongue and groove. You got this beautiful stacked, this like it's like a masterpiece of a wall. You have this wall that goes all the way up to you, like your 20 foot ceilings with stacked rock all the way up. And of course, you have your right when you walk in, you have your security. You've got a little closet here for guests to put their closets up. You put their, you know, hang up your your coat or you know put away your shoes or whatever have you. I mean, talk about an entertainers. This home is big enough literally to have like a wedding venue. Um, polished concrete floors. You got a cantilever um, stair system here that I'm going to show you more about that and why it's called that. But it is just stunning every piece of this home. And I'm telling you, you know, usually we say, hey, two by six walls. I think these walls are like two by eight or two by 12. Look at the thickness that you see on the windowsill here. And this window has got to be about seven or eight feet. And it's a picture window. And again, you get to view all the mountains. You see the Valley of Las Cruces at nighttime. I bet the view is just absolutely stellar out here with all the lights and stuff. I mean, imagine the 4th of July. I mean, that would be amazing. Just that event alone. Every room has dimmers. You can, like I said, you can walk around with an iPad and you can literally control this home. It's super, super smart. You don't see a lot of these on the market. Uh, if you're looking for a luxury mansion in Las Cruces, um, you need to come look at this home. You need to call, you give us a call. We'll take, show it to you. Call up Levi. He'll show it to you. This is an incredible home that you do not want to miss. Look at the living space of this home. And in this video, you really can't get an idea of scale. That right there is like an 80 inch or 100 inch screen TV. And it looks like a small TV because the presentation wall is so large. It's got built in surround sound. You have a giant fireplace. And I think that's about a six foot fireplace there. And it's all electric. So no cleaning, literally it's really easy to use. It probably blows heat, it changes colors. You got plugins if you wanna put in some more speakers or lamps or whatever have you. And I can actually spot the speakers throughout this home. So not only do you have you know, speakers for the surround sound, but you also have speakers for ambient music. So if you want your entire home to just sound amazing, you can do that. Well, I wanna get started on the north wing of this home before we get into too much about the living room and the kitchen. But, th so this is the guest wing. And talk about a guest wing. The guest wings, they literally have their own private courtyard, sitting spaces. You actually have a utility room here and you can see that it's got lots of shelving. It has a skylight. There's some LED lighting in there. You can tell that they've been using it to have events here. And I mean, wow. Just this right here. I mean, at first I thought it was a pantry, but there's actually a pantry with a hundred bottle storage um, refrigerator for wine. So, I mean, just in the pantry, there's also a wine cooler in the kitchen. So it's got about everything. Now, solid, solid door here. This is a barn door. It's got the black hardware. Of course, the handles are black as well. So it gives you that really pretty contrast. LED lights throughout in here as well. And this is more of like your, your sitting areas. And the, one of the things that struck me was this accordion door. And it actually opens up this way and it opens up this way. So you can literally open this up to where this is completely open, like this entire corner here is open. So if your guests wanna come out here, spend a good time, if you wanna put a hot tub out here, you could. And if you look this way, you get the Doniana Mountains, the Robletos, and if you notice, there's no houses looking in at all. I mean, it's completely private here. You have really high roof lines. Lots of that structural metal can be seen here. Tongue and groove wood underlay underneath the actual patio space. You got that metal fascia all the way around and there is LED lights. Now at nighttime, talk about a beautiful presentation. You have lights like this that you typically don't see. I mean, my hat's really off to this builder for all the detail work on a home this large. I mean, the, the downstairs is just over 6,800 square feet. Um, the floating mezzanine, that grand mezzanine we're going to go look at, that's just over 1,000 square feet. In the garage, I could live in the garage. That is just a, you know, a very impressive space. And these glass doors are amazing. I mean, this opens up completely. 
Now, over here you have, this area here could be for like a, just a little sitting area. Um, you do have plenty of windows here. You got high ceilings. And I think the ceiling height here is probably about 10 feet. Um, you got a place here to hang a TV. So if you want to put a couch or some sitting spaces right here and you just want a little TV for that. Now this home also has like, you can FaceTime from one side of the house to the other built in. It also has an intercom system. I mean, it's got so many features. This home is just amazingly well equipped. Every single, like, look at this. I mean, you can literally just dim the lights, make the lights a little bit brighter. And that's in every single room. First bedroom, picture window here. That's about an eight foot picture window. And if you notice the way they do this, a very light hand trowel texture, 90 degree angled walls, very, very thick. And the AC unit's not even on on this home right now and it feels very, very cool. So I, that tells me that it's extraordinarily energy efficient. Got a large helicopter fan, lots of LED lights. You got a window over here that displays that beautiful Oregon mountain view. Look at all the peaks. There's your million dollar shot. And I know in this video, it's like, well, those look far away. I'm telling you, they don't look that far for me. <laughs> they look right there. And walk-in closet, closet has actually a barn door. It's got shelving. You actually got some lights and a skylight. Amazing. Flat screen pre-wire. And then these two bedrooms actually have a Jack and Jill. And a Jack and Jill is where two bedrooms share a bathroom. But I mean, gosh, I mean, this is big enough to share. <laughs> you got floating concrete sinks. You got this really pretty, like industrial type faucets. You got, you know, plenty of cabinetry and it's a floating vanity. So there's actually no, it doesn't go all the way to the ground. It's actually mounted to the wall. You got glass doors to the reading room. Very large space. Oh, and built-in cabinets or built-in floating shelves. You could even dim it in here if you want to, you know? Skylight, extra LEDs, and a giant walk-in shower with large tile. Look at the size of this one tile. Eighth inch grout lines, huge tile. It's got this really cool, this is a, a trench drain and uh, really, really cool and modern the way this looks, the way they did this. All the black hardware, black faucets, wet Nicho, tall ceilings, glass, uh, frameless glass door. Unbelievable, and if you can, if you really can't see in the video, there's actually lighting behind these mirrors, and it's all LED. So I mean, it, at, in the evening, when you don't have a lot of light going on, you can imagine that how this really looks. I mean, the, the presentation value of this home is unmatched. I mean, really. Bedroom number two. Large again ceilings, helicopter fan, LED lights, walk-in closet. You got this really pretty solid core barn door. You got a, all the black hardware. This one's also a smart room as well. And I mean, take a look at this panel. So you got a remote control here. You can control every part of the home or every part of the bedroom. It's got its own little thermostat in here. So I mean, literally you can keep one room colder. If you have guests, they sleep hot. You can make it cooler, warmer, you know, whatever you want. What an absolute treat today, folks, to actually display this home. So two bedrooms, a bathroom over here, and a sitting area and a private courtyard. And this is just part of the North Wink. Let's go take a look at over here. Oh, here's, so this, I believe this is an ensuite. So again, it's a smart bedroom. You walk in, it adjusts accordingly to the way you like it. That's, believe it or not, that's a king bed. <laughs> so lots of space in here. This could even be its own little private, you know, living room or a little bit, you know, you can make this like a, a living room for the other two bedrooms if you wanted to. It's got its own bathroom, which is really nice. The finishes in this home is very prestigious. And right outside this, this bedroom, I'm actually looking at the Doniana Mountains. And then its own bathroom, which is a large bathroom too. It's got its, you know, water saving toilets. You got a large single basin sink with a trench drain. And you got your frameless mirror with a little pop out accents. I love this. You got, it's a floating vanity again. You got really nice natural type wood on the cabinetry. And that's solid wood. I mean, that is super, super high quality stuff. 
And then in here, you got a very large shower and it does have a rain shower head built in. Those have LED lights. You can make the, like, the water look green or blue or whatever have you. And it does like different designs, different patterns. But rock stack all the way up. You have a handheld over here. Controls for you know, all the different water features. And of course, a wet nicho. Very large. It looks like tile, but I think this is actually control jointed concrete. I mean, that looks amazing. And they actually put really cool patterns in here, too. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Nice walk in closet. Lots of built ins. Large, large barn door again. This is actually a bigger closet than the last one. And these concrete floors are really doing it for me. I mean, they, you know, you can polish these up and make them look almost like a marble. I mean, they'll, they'll shine really, really well. You want to see what a 2,200 square foot garage looks like? Let's take a look at this. So big picture window here. This really brightens up this area. And if you look back this way, you got this large, like this hallway. So you got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, sitting area, private courtyard, just in the north wing. And then this is the entry to the garage. And this garage, let me tell you, is amazing. As you can see, you can fit a large RV, toys, cars, whatever you want. And I, I don't even have to have lights on in here, but I mean, just, I mean, it feels like I'm outside. You have all these windows and you have actual glass on the garage doors. Those garage doors are eight feet tall. And I know that in terms of how big the garage door for the RV is, I mean, look at the size of, the, of an RV you can fit in here. So if you're out there full time in, or if you have a fifth wheel like this one, easily it'll fit in here easily no problem and still have walk around space all the way around this this actual garage is fully equipped for evs it's got plug-ins you can have a workshop in here it does have its own storage units like its own little area to have its maintenance decking you have a the, your fuse box inside everything is heated and cooled in here as well so it's not just a garage it's literally it has its own like thermostat its own heating its own cooling so you can keep the temperature and there's actually speakers built in as well lots of led lights you got these control lines and each one of these lines actually represents a very large metal roof truss like structural metal roof truss that goes across and uh wow unbelievable unbelievable so look, even even the look at the even the garage door openers have like displays on them that's amazing. Th those are not your normal garage door openers, let me tell you. LiftMaster is a very good brand. One of the ones you see about a lot whenever you see, like, you go into the, you know, the more, the, the more pricier ones, the nicer ones, typically LiftMaster are uh, one of the ones they display quite a bit. Plugins everywhere. Those are actually Decora plugins, very strong. They'll last a long time. And then... Look at this. So back to where we kind of started. And before I get into this area, I want to take you into the south wing of this home. So the south wing literally has a place for your pets. It's got a sunroom. It's got the master bedroom. It's got a pantry that we're going to go into in a minute, but it's got its own sitting area. I mean, so you have a sitting area on the south wing. You have a sitting area on the north wing. And it, somehow they all have views of a mountain range or something significant. Here you have a beautiful picturesque view of stacked rock. You've got the whole front yard. You've got the Valley of Las Cruces. You've got Tongue and Groove. Three picture windows here that are quite large plug-ins dimmers everything so here's the laundry room space and it's got your horizontal window here it's got extra lighting it's got a skylight you got a large farm sink with a deep basin and it actually has the the grommets in it as well stainless steel you got your you know you're more of a modern faucet it does pull out really nice hardware too look at how slick that is so instead of having a hardware down here, it's actually right here. You just pull it right out. 
very high-end cabinetry. The trim has got to be about eight to 10 inches all the way around this entire home. You got another little fuse box in here. You got quartz countertops up here. Open shelving and drawers here, full extension. Drawers or doors? Let's take a look. Yep, they're drawers, look at this. Now, usually you see that homes are ready for electric, but this one actually has a gas plug in or a gas outlet, which says that you can actually have one of those gas dryers if you want one as well. Hot and cold, and then you got your plug in for your washer. But I mean, even here, you got views. And like I said, every point of this home, you're getting an experience. It's not just, oh, this is the laundry room. It's like, well, this actually, you look out to the laundry room and you have this incredible view. And I mean, look at this. So you turn back. Look at the valley. Look, I mean, I could see mountain views on the other side. This is amazing. I mean, you can literally like a multi-generational home here. So another full, another full bathroom. Now, this home has four bedrooms and five full bathrooms. And most of the bedrooms have the access to their own bathroom. This would be like for your guests. So you got another raised vessel sink. You have this really cool arched or this kind of a mono curve here of a, of a frameless mirror. You got stacked, look at it. It looks, almost looks like concrete, but it's actually tile. And they stacked it all the way to the 10 feet and they went all the way across. Water saving toilet, floating vanity, quartz countertops, industrial. I, I love these. It, it, it reminds me of like the pumps, you know, where you would pump and get the water out in the farms. Super, super cool, nice touch. And then a big, big walk-in shower. You've got another trench drain. You've got this really pretty concrete tile that goes up. You have a handheld. You've got a, a sham, a, you know, your, your wet nicho there. And then of course you have your rain shower head and plenty of lighting. And of course another skylight in here too. And then this home has a very heavy duty roof as well. Very heavy duty. Now this is the sunroom or it could be like a study or an office. It has these frameless glass doors fixed like a French door. And you walk into here and you have a view of another part of the yard, another part of the property. And again, this property has 1.1 acres and you can see all of the Oregon mountains from here. And it really gives you perspective of how big these mountains are. When you're actually here, these mountains look massive. And then all the homes around you are super, super prestigious. A lot of natural landscaping beyond the rock walls. And that marble rock wall with, with no mortar in between the, rock, between the rocks themselves is really doing it for me. I mean, that really looks beautiful. Imagine when it gets wet and it just shines. It's unbelievable. Helicopter fan, LED lights, you got speakers in here again. And again, you have speakers throughout this entire home and that's gonna give you that ambient music. So imagine just walking through and listening to relaxing music or if you have like a, a party going on or if a, a big event, I mean, you can really have that music just beaming through the whole house. Now in here, you've got a place for your pets. This is its own pet's quarters. So you actually have a place to put kennels. You got built-in cabinetry, quartz countertops. You got this really cool dog bath. And it even has its own little frameless door. I love this. You know, so if you have plenty of pets in here, they have their own shower, their own quarters. And then going outside, look at this door has, actually has built-in, the, the, the built-in shades. And literally, that's where we started the video, right there. It's almost like we've traveled. <laughs> you got grass out here, lots of different variations of, of, uh, of gravel and green grass. You got this, you know, this black metal meshing all the way around to give you that nice defined line. Another really beautiful area to come and spend time in. You've got another sitting area here. And again, look at, the, look at that stacked stone there. I'm sure that's some kind of a closet for storage. You've got all this roof line with lights all the way around, the tongue and groove, the metal fascia. And as you can see, Talavera is still growing quite a bit. I mean, there's still quite a bit of land out here and uh, they're still building. I've seen homes out here that are very large and magnificent, but I think I, I'll stop that magnificent looking at this home. This has got to be one of the prettiest homes I've seen in a very, very long time. For all those that like that industrial, contemporary, modern look, this is a gem. I mean, this is very, very unique, very modern. You will be the talk of the town. 
master suite. Look at the entrance. So you got this French doors that are actually barn doors and they open up opposite ways. Upon entry, you actually have, oh, by the way, look at this. You even have a lock on these, you can lock them. Here you can adjust the lighting immediately. And remember, you can adjust the lighting with an iPad. So I mean, you don't even have to use the controls. But notice how it's such a nice entry, but you don't actually see the master bedroom. Imagine putting like this really beautiful painting here. As you walk in, you actually see that instead of the actual bedroom itself. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> HD projector, drop screen, huge glass doors, you got built-in surround sound, and then even if you bring that up, you have the Oregon Mountains, you got the backyard. This has got to be about 30 foot by maybe 30 foot. It might be a little bit bigger than that. Again, this bedroom has all the smart features. It can control its own temperature, has large trim, tall ceilings. I mean, just everything. Eight foot doors, you got barn doors here. And then look at all the open face cabinetry. Place for a safe, we got like a little, like a hidden sunken vault there where you can put a safe. You got skylights, LED lights. Look at how beautiful this wood grain is. I mean, amazing work. It's got its own built-in dresser drawers, cubbies everywhere. This is amazing. So his and hers closets. So another closet over here, and this one even has a vanity built in. Got a place to put the chair, you know, do your makeup if you'd like, or just enjoy the vastness of this closet. You got open face cabinetry in here again, beautiful wood grain, LED lights, skylight. Wow. You know, this polished concrete floor is something else. I mean, it is beautiful. And I know when you polish it, you can get this almost looking like a mirror. I mean, it's really beautiful stuff. Wow. So, master bathroom. You got a floating oval tub with an, this is really cool. I don't think I've seen this before. So you have the faucet coming out of the ground on its own pedestal and it does have a handheld. It's very large. I would say at least a 60 inch, maybe a little bit north of that. You got these huge, huge windows here. You got a drop chandelier. You got quartz countertops, a giant floating, like a, the vanity floats all the way across. You got black cabinetry with black hardware, very tall frameless mirrors, drop lights. I love this. This is so beautiful. Like, so the faucets actually come out of the wall. You have a very large eight, like an eight inch riser of quartz, plug-ins. Reading room is also stunning. <laughs> it's got also a dimmer in here too. So water saving toilet, kind of a designer toilet as well. Now, this is probably the nicest shower I've seen. And I mean, I'm gonna tell you why. Let me see if I can find a light for this because this is, this is impressive. Look at the lights up there. Just look up. So you come in here, and I wanted to leave the lights off so you can actually see this. And imagine the water coming down, and it has like different, it can like flow this way, it can come down and trickle like raindrops. You have stacked rock all the way up. You have literally, look at these, these are all uh, you know, actual shower heads. So I mean, you can get a full body, just a blast. And you do have like a handheld, like a large, look at this cool trench drain all the way across. I mean, you have all these, look at this. So all the different faucets you have, you have heating and cooling it. I mean, you could, I mean, this is absolutely impressive. Talk about an experience. I think I would spend a lot of time in here. Stack rock, even the top of it is like that concrete look. That's gotta be at least 12 feet tall. I mean, it's gotta be. And stack rock all the way around, like you're inside of like this amazing cave-like thing, I mean, Unbelievable. You got the black schlutering they did around it to give you that defined line around the entrances.
Well, I, I'll tell you this. I think that just in the master suite, one can spend a lot of good quality time in here and never really get bored. <laughs> That's, you got plenty of gadgets, lots of light. I love the, the contrast between the polished floors and the very light walls. And then coming out to your castle. Amazing. You know, it does. It feels bigger than 6,800 square feet at the bottom floor. It really does. But I mean, the, you know, the top is 1,073. That's the floating grand mezzanine that we're going to look at. It also has a patio up there as well. But there's so much more to talk about with this home. So here's the pantry to this amazing kitchen. And you got cabinetry, quartz countertops, plug-ins, floating shelves, storage for your wine. And it hasn't even been used yet, folks. Look at this. Brand new. And I can imagine this home has warranties like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I, I can tell just by the way it's built. So this home, will, like hundreds of years from now, homes around it will be falling apart. This home will still, <laughs> it's built like a mountain. I mean, literally 70 tons of structural metal. I mean, unbelievable. And this, this kitchen is to die for. Huge, huge entertainer's island floating vent that literally, if you notice, it doesn't have an actual out vent. So what happens is you cook and it cleans the air and it comes out clean above it. That's how smart this is. So built-in cooktop, this has got to be at least a 40 inch. It's got all kinds of gas burners built into the actual quartz. You have the island that's at least 12 foot by eight foot. Then you have this kickoff where it's almost like a built-in island and all quartz countertops, just gorgeous. You got a convection microwave here double ovens, large commercial grade, look at the size of this thing, commercial grade refrigerator. You got double stacked upper cabinetry, black hardware, and I like how they did this. They did the black solid cabinetry above it. They did the more natural tones below. You got drawer stacks everywhere, quartz, white countertops all the way across, and then windows to give you that really, that feel of openness. All these plug-ins, like an ultra commercial grade uh, faucet here, filtered water. This is for the, the soap actually, and just this really large farm sink here. And I mean, wow. Oh, and then here you go. So here's actually a little wine cooler for the outside. So after you get it from your, your, your pantry, from your storage, and you open it, you put it here. That way you can enjoy it with your friends and family. And of course you can use it for other drinks as well. But if you're one of those wine connoisseurs, this is definitely a place you could do it. So dishwasher, I mean, so many drawer stacks. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six drawer stacks, cabinetry, everything is super modern and super done well, like super well. I mean, look at this. So Lazy Susan. And they're still putting in some of the finishing touches in this home, so it's not 100, 100%, but I'd say it's 99.5% done. And all the while, I'm looking over here and you got that 20 foot wall with stacked stone all the way to the top of the ceilings. You have this giant TV, you got speakers and surround sound, fireplace, plenty of, of space to sit down. You got floor plugs in the living room. And then look at this. So this is a California Redwood built-in table and this will give you an idea of what's behind the walls. See this right here? That's part of the 70 tons that are inside this home that makes this home the, stru the structure it is. You even have some exposed here. And you can actually see the metal grating all the way around so that's holding up this floating mezzanine. Unreal. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, you really want to have a good dinner with everybody and just, I mean, wow, you know, get the whole family over here. Everybody sit around this gorgeous centerpiece. It's like every part of this home is like a work of art. It's not so much just a house or a big house. Every part of this is a conversation piece. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I know this video is gonna be at least an hour long. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me all the way through. So this is really cool. So this is an accordion door and it's probably about 30 feet. I'm gonna show you how this works. So if in, New, in New Mexico, we have a very moderate temperature. Um, there's a couple of months out of the year where it's a little warm here and maybe a month where it's a little cold. 
A lot of the times it's really cool to be able to open up and bring your outside to the inside and your inside to the outside. Look at this. Right off the dining room and the kitchen, you have an outside kitchen with again that beautiful stacked stone. You got a high patio ceiling with tongue and groove, LED lights, speakers, all this metal beam work and metal, all this metal accenting they did. So that patio is actually coming off the master suite. So talk about having plenty of spaces to have your own your own spot, even speakers here too. So I mean, again, you can have music playing throughout this entire home. And you got your beautiful organ mountains. Absolutely amazing. You know, I say amazing and beautiful in my, in my videos a lot. This encompasses every single bit of amazing and beautiful. So outside kitchen complete. You got actually two cookers here, or two grills, you got drawer stacks, you got actually a, an outside refrigerator, you got an outside farm sink, lots of plug-ins, you got, I mean, lighting, no problem. You can cook at night, in the, in the morning, in the day, whatever you want, and this is good for them. This is a built-in trash can. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, Art, I'll tell you this. You ever have a get together, invite me. I'd love to come by and take a look at this home when you have people in here and you have the music going and the lights. Unbelievable. Next, what we're gonna do, and that's where we're gonna finish off this video, is on the grand mezzanine. We're gonna go up a cantilever staircase that has wood planking, metal accenting, and the wall is actually solid concrete. I'm gonna close this door up and we're gonna head up. So walking through this home, like I said, I mean, it's, it's an experience. You have all that living space, outdoor, you got, you know, stacked rock, high ceilings. Now this is a cantilever staircase system. So these actual rods go in and up and it actually uses that leverage to hold this up along with the metal beams. But this is a solid concrete wall and you got floating staircase that goes up and you have these really, really, like it almost feels like you're in a mall or some kind of modern building, like a business building. You, you kind of come in and it's done so well. You got the light hand troweling walls. You got this amazing window set up, high ceilings again. And then you got this, this platform here of wood. And I mean, one can literally just sit here and just enjoy. And I mean, this is, 20 feet or more of glass. You got tongue and groove ceilings on the outside. You can see every part of here. I mean, down that way, you can see the mountains of El Paso. I mean, for those of you who don't know who Las Cruces is, we're about 35 minutes away from El Paso, Texas. So I always say anything you can't find in Las Cruces, you can find in El Paso. And it's a 35 minute drive away, even with traffic. So you got a little room here. I would, I would assume this is probably for upstairs stuff. You know, I mean, you can use it pretty much for anything. It's got this wood flooring. Almost like a panic room if you wanted it, like, you know, put the, a false front wall door there. Very cool. Metal door jam all the way around. And look at this. So you, <laughs> this is what a mezzanine is. So a mezzanine, it looks down on everything. And this is a very, very much of an entertainer's feature. You have this really pretty flooring, high ceilings again. This has its own HVAC and heating up here. So literally you can keep this up here even as cool or as hot as you want. Large, look at this concrete flooring all the way around. I mean, talk about a lot of concrete. But you can make this into a, a bedroom if you wanted to, a full-on business office where you come in from the indoor and come right up the stairs and you have all this space to have desks if you want to. I mean, so if you're, you know, you're trying to do some business from home, you know, this would not be a bad place to do it. And it really sets the mood as well because you're up high and you actually can see even more than you can from the, the, the floor level. Really nice light hand troweled ceilings. You got these metal joists all the way around. And again, look at this. So that side is where we came up on. This is its own little area. So again, a really cool office space. 
I mean, you can see mountains here. I mean, this is incredible. You got the mountains, actually the Oregon Mountains over this way. And you can actually see that, that really beautiful one-piece roof they did. Talk about, I mean, that roof will last forever. I mean, you have very little maintenance. This home is built really, really well. Metal railing all the way across, black accents. You got the drop chandelier viewable from here. Part of the HVAC system for upstairs. And then you have another full bathroom here. Now, again, this the home has five bathrooms in it. You actually have a floating vanity here. You got the raised vessel sink. You got the frameless mirror. You got water saving toilets. Giant glass shower with concrete all the way, concrete color all the way up. You got your skylights, little trench drain down here. This has a satin nickel finish, which I like the actual, you know, change it up a little bit. That way every room is a little different or every bathroom is a little different. I like that. But it's all like the same, but it's different, you know? It's still like a, the same genre, the same style, but just slightly different. And then another accordion door here. So let's open this up. And the way these work is you just give it a push and it starts to accordion right away. So again, outdoor living, if you could hear that, I hear birds. <laughs> you come out here and I mean unobstructed view of the Oregon Mountains and a large, large upper patio. All the mountain range I talk about in my videos, all the mountain ranges are viewable from here. You see the full size of this property at 1.1 acres and just the beauty of those rock walls. I can really spend some time out here. And way over there, you can actually see El Paso's mountains in the blue. Well, you know, way over there, that's the uh, Franklin Mountains. It's part of, it's literally part of the Oregon's. Believe it or not, the Oregon Mountains and the Franklin Mountains are an actual finger mountain range of the Rocky Mountains. A lot of people don't know that. On the other side of the Oregon Mountains is actually White Sands National Park and is one of the seven wonders of the, of the world. I believe New Mexico has two or three of those. They have Carlsbad Caverns and they have White Sands Missile Range. Unbelievable, what a treat to be able to do this home today. Well folks, I think I'll end this video here. This has been a tremendous, amazing tour. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, if you have any questions about real estate, whether you're looking for affordable, custom, or ultra luxury, a mansion, land, commercial, anything you need, give me a call today. I always look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.